Oh, sure. Well, Abzan mulligans very poorly in this matchup because the creatures that they cast don't generate a lot of value. A lot of matchups you're expecting Siege Rhino or Corsair Crufix to be two for ones and three for ones. That's not really happening here. So he's got to lean on his removal in this matchup, and that's a hard game plan to play when you're on five cards. Simon Carey added the first card played for Silvestri. There is a forest. This is four mana. That's a copy of Ash Cloud Phoenix. Lon going to draw a card. He does have a third land. It's a Plains. And just going to pass the turn back. Over to Silvestri will go. Ash Cloud Phoenix, another threat that has picked up in popularity as people try to, fit, to fight Abzan mid range. This is five mana. Yeah, we're going to try to close this one out real quick with some flyers. In for eight in the air. Hero's Downfall going to go after Stormbreath Dragon. Spencer will have to take two to cast that due to both of those Lana Railways that are out there. So he'll take six total this turn. He's down to 14 already as he does draw a card. And these Obson decks do not block flyers particularly well. There's a Temple of Malady. Take a look at the top card. That card's going to stay on top. See a Drowned Sorrow over there. Might actually be some interest in casting that, but he will wait. Well, he can't really drown in sorrow until he's going to follow up and actually kill the Phoenix. Sure. Because Josh could just play a six mana source, unmorph it, and now nothing's happened. And in fact, you've taken two points of damage for your trouble. Yeah. And two more off of the lands he has in play. So he's got to wait until he can kind of uh, situate a board that can finally deal with this Phoenix. Here's a Chandra. Elevator goes up on that, we think. Yep. Spencer going to draw a copy of Oxon Charm. I've seen worse draws. There's four mana. What do we see here? It's a copy of Siege Rhino. All right. Get a little something cooking here. But again, no reprieve for what's going on in the air. Yeah. Arbor Colossus look to be the draw. Always a terrible feeling when the opponent's counting mana. Probably means that someone has a Crater's Claws, I would guess. I think I see a Fireball. Add the two, carry the one. <laughs> and I think this is seven on the dot. Absolutely. Joshua Silvestri going to win this match over Spencer Lahan. Two games to one. Green Red Monsters takes care of Abzan midrange. Silvestri moves on to 3-0. And you got to see all those threats that Joshua presented in that game. Really informed by Abzan midrange's presence in the metagame. Ash Cloud Phoenix, one of the best threats you can bring to the table. I think Crater's Claws shines in this matchup because the game will go on for a very long time. They don't have a lot of counter spells. They don't have that much life gain. And so even if they're able to start stabilizing and attacking you, you have a lot of time to draw out of it and have a Crater's Claws be lethal. To the Skies is a great way to go against Amazon mid-range. Ash Cloud Phoenix, as you mentioned, difficult to answer. Can't forget that Stormbreath Dragon is as well.